a lot of people deal with heel pain and one of the big reasons that people can get heel pain is because of heel spurs now you have what's called a calcaneal bone here it's just a big bone it's your big heel bone here okay and so what can happen is you can end up with a bone spur here or you can end up with a bone spur down here usually these are the two major spots that lower heel or that upper back posterior heel okay now they can now a patient can get or a person can get um, some inflammation around this spur. It's not usually the spur itself that causes the problem. It's the inflammation around that spur and the tissue that the spur could potentially be damaging. And so many times when you have heel spurs, what you need to do is address the tissue around it, right? Because so a lot of folks that they come into your practice, they have a heel spur and they think they have to go have surgery and get this heel spur taken care of. But what they maybe forget or what they've forgotten is that that heel spur takes a lot of time to develop, a lot of time. And why does it develop in the first place? Well, it usually develops because of inflammation around that area, right? And so what could be inflaming that area is the connective tissue over the top of or attaching to that area. So it could be your Achilles, your, your calf muscles here. So when you have a bone spur or a heel spur, um, you really truly need to address the connective tissue around that spur, not just the spur itself, okay? So many times if you can address that plantar fascia and you can address that posterior leg with calves, Achilles stretches, et cetera, and plantar stretches, et cetera, you're going to actually heal or at least reduce the pain drastically around that heel spur almost to the point, if not completely healed, to a point where it's manageable and you don't have to have surgery, so.